The cool theme which characterised spring continued into May, with temperatures somewhat below average for much of the month, as winds were often from a northerly direction. The UK mean temperature was 9.5 degrees Celsius, which is 0.8 of a degree Celsius below the 1981 to 2010 average. This made it the coldest May since 1996. It was also a wet month, with the UK having 30% more rainfall than you would expect in an average May, and only 96% of the average sunshine. Let's take a closer look at the weather throughout the month and some of your photos you sent in via Twitter. The month started dry and sunny as high pressure built from the south. For Scotland, though, there was heavy rain on the 2nd, with 64.2 millimetres of rain recorded at Achnagart. Another ridge of high pressure built from the south on the 5th to the 7th, resulting in a top temperature of 23.8 degrees Celsius at Drumborough in Cumbria. A change to more unsettled conditions began on the 8th, with rain spreading from the west during the afternoon on strengthening westerly winds. Heavier rain crossed from the west during the 9th, giving 33.6 millimetres at Capelcurig. It was wet again in the northwest of Scotland on the 13th with frequent blustery showers, heavy at times, giving 58.4 millimetres of rain at Cassily, and a wind gust of 55 miles an hour recorded at Inverbevie. Persistent heavy rain moved in from the south by mid morning on the 14th, with Pembry Sands recording 72 millimetres of rain. But low temperatures on that day meant this fell as snow over higher ground in parts of Dartmoor and the Brecon Beacons. High pressure edged in from the south towards the end of the month, with 22.3 degrees Celsius recorded at Strathallan on the 20th. So where were the warmest, coldest, wettest and windiest places during May? The top temperature of the month was 23.8 degrees Celsius at Drumborough in Cumbria on the 7th. In contrast, a minimum temperature of minus 5.5 Celsius was recorded at Alston on the 2nd. Pembry Sands saw the most rainfall during the month with 72 millimetres on the 15th, and Needle's Old Battery on the Isle of Wight saw the strongest wind gusts of 74 miles an hour on the 14th and again on the 24th. Here are some of your May weather pictures you sent in through Twitter. Send us your photos of June weather and you could feature in next month's summary video.